Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we are reading for March 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th, Monday through Thursday. This is general reading, and when I'm doing Monday through Thursday, I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. My Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I've prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job, just deliver the message. You might notice something different behind me. I'm going to be doing some changes with my office. So I've been, and since I have this new computer, um, I did download this program that gives backgrounds. I know you might see a little glitchiness. I'm sorry about that, but I really don't want you to see the background <laughs> when, it, when things start moving around a little bit. So we'll have some fun with these changes, with these backgrounds too. I liked this one. Now, I have posted my longer readings for every season, and I did add my little, my introduction onto the readings. I do give you a time marker on when the actual readings begin, but look at the beginning too. Um, you might need to take it into a little bit of stages because it was like, oh, that's a little longer than I thought it would be. Now, um, I am, you know, when I, I am trying to get caught up, you know that I was having some computer problems last week. I am trying to get caught up with my week readings now. And whenever the long readings are there, they always kind of throw me off too. And I, I like to have a couple of days in between readings just to kind of give you some, you know, maybe the, you're saying, oh, come on, Deb, let's get on with this. But I like to have a little bit of time in between readings because I get a, like a psychic flare. So I did a, my long readings yesterday, and now we're doing this, these readings today. So I am hoping that they make somewhat sense, somewhat sense to you. And I'm hoping that I don't ramble too much. I'm going to try to keep it on the short side. At the same time, I want to let you know is that when I do these back-to-back, -back, my filters get very, very thin. So in many ways, if you can understand what I'm saying, in many ways, the message is that much pure. So let's see what we have going on. And let's start the readings now. Hello, my Tauruses. Let's see what we have for your week this week. I think you have to be a little different. I think, you know, what is it that you're always doing now? I think you need to change things up a little bit more. So what is it? You know, just, just a little bit. Just do one thing different. Maybe if you always have, uh, I don't know, if you always have coffee in the morning, have tea. Do something a little different. I feel, you know, you, you know, we want to get you out of the rut. We want to get you moving. We want the activity, the energies around you to start circulating more and more. So this is a time, this is a week, I'm going to say do one thing a day different. Okay, let's see what we have here. First card, these are reverse, strong energy here. The Ten of Michael, that's been popping up a lot. That is, you know, a lot. Wow. Um, ten's transitional number, but it also breaks down to, you know, one plus zero is a one. One is a new beginning. Zero is a God or universe energy. Ten, transitional energy. Michael is air energy. It is our Libra. It is our Aquarius and our Gemini energy. Thought processes, hearing news, thinking things through. Now, the thing about this, and like I said, so th there's a lot of breakout energy this uh, for Aries. I talk about it in that longer reading. And this is about, you know, let go, do, you know, well, let's go here. You know, I love her. You know, basically she's danced, 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 and now it's time for her to have a, take her bow. It's now to have time for her to go on to something new, something even better. You know, maybe there's been talent agents out there watching her, and now they want to bring her to a higher step also. So she's practiced. She's, you know, she's more than ready. She's prepared. She's done it. Now it's time for her to even advance her career. Again, do something a little different this week because this is a situation has ended. You are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. 
So this is this is very much a time. Again, be different. Be different this week. Okay, here we go. Next card, the nine of Ariel. Ariel is your energy. Nine has a completion to it. Nine's kind of like, let's wrap it up, put a bow on it. Ariel, your energy, also Virgo and Capricorn energy, solid energy, something you can touch, money energy, work energy, job energy, home energy. Now, the thing about this deck with nine of Ariel in this deck, this is this is kind of like the wish card, um, but more in the physical sense. OK, so it's not the water card, but this is more in that physicality. And this one is about your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work. Again, what we were talking about, hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. Again, I'm going to keep saying be different, do something different. You know, do something different. If, you know, if you're, you know, again, get out of the rut, um, change things up a bit, at least for this week. One little thing, one little thing a day. Here we go. Next card is the Ace of Ariel. Ace of Ariel. Aces are ones. So we have a 1091. And this is, again, I mean, this is a week for you. Again, what, you know, okay, what is it that you want, my Tauruses? Go after it, but do something different. I know I keep I'm, that just keeps coming over and over and over into my head and out of my mouth. Anyway, aces are ones. This is about it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. So I mean, you know, what can I tell you? But, but the thing is, just don't get stuck in a rut. Don't you know? Make sure that you are reaching out to other people. Um, this is, you know, there's time to celebrate. There's a time to just get out of your home, your environment. Again, you know, be seen so that others can see you because this is, um, you know, you need that energy. You need that, you know, that to ignite, to ignite you. Okay, here we go. Let's go on here. I mean, I, I mean, there's. What else can I say about this? What else can I say? Here's our last card. Oh, okay. We have actually two cards that popped. So here we are. Okay, two cards. This one is reversed. The two of Earth. So you're getting a lot of Earth energy. You're getting a lot of Earth energy. Twos have that um, crossroads, that decision. What are you going to do? This has a lot of busy energy to it. This has a lot of, again, I just feel you need to energize yourself and get out do more. I don't mean more as in accomplish more. I mean enjoy your life more, um, smile more. That's what I mean. You know, just you know, do do those little things that used to make you happy that you might not be doing as much. You know, get out. Uh, I don't know. Go swing on a swing. Do something a little bit on the fun side. Have some fun. Okay. Okay. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. And your last card here, the lovers. The lovers. Now, six has a you know number of man. It's kind of what we can actually make of ourselves. Um, the lovers is Archangel Raphael. Raphael is the healer, is the one, you know, the healer of emotions, of your thoughts, words, physical, all, you know, anything that you can think that needs healing, our Archangel Raphael is the one to help us with that. This is also, I kind of feel this, you know, um, communion with others, you know, being around others. I feel like there's some, you know, like some soul type of healing. It's, it's like you're this, you know, you're this plant that needs to have some water, that needs to have some sun. And this is going to be the week to do it in. This is the week to get, you know, to, to kind of aerate that ground a little bit. Maybe give it a little bit of plant food. Maybe, you know, turn it so that it gets the full, you know, gets another set of the sun or another, you know, side of the sun. This is the time to take care of you also. Okay? Okay. So, intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. So there could be something coming up. And you're going to have to make, you're going to have to choose to do these things. Okay? Good health. Now, let's see what we have. What crystal or energy? Okay, there we go. And I have this one, and I can even see it. This one's reversed. Clear quartz. Here we are. This is polished. Psychic abilities, enhanced intuition, mental clarity, magnified energy. 
yeah, this is a week for you to be to do and be a little different. Um, not, to, I'm not again. I'm not saying that you do more. Just do things just a little different. Have a little fun. Celebrate your life a little more. Okay. I think the energies and the thing is again. Remember what you put out comes back. So this is that week for you to put that out. So, my Tauruses, I hope you enjoy. Please. Hit the like, share, subscribe. It does help, and I thank you so much for doing that. As always, my Tauruses, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.